To my delight, Glenn told me he'd received some great news. Despite the Nevada DMV typically having a three month wait time for an appointment, they decided to open up on Saturday at midnight for walk-in appointments only. The agency recently started offering Saturday walk-ins for new residents. Glenn was told the line would open at midnight on Saturday night and the doors would officially open at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. So this meant that if I could accompany him as a housed co-signer, Glenn could get an ID. We should, we should try and get to the DMV super early on Saturday. Saturday, yeah, at midnight I'll be in line. <laughs> okay. You don't have to be there at midnight, but I'll be there at midnight. All right. Make sure I get in. I told Glenn to meet me around 2 a.m. on Sunday morning and to bring as many friends as he wanted. He brought along two people I'd never seen before, but also who hadn't had ID in over a decade. So this is the last form of ID that you have? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Expire, expired 2014. Yeah. Like, so you, <laughs> solid nine years. Your shit expired. This expired in 2009. <laughs> Dude, that's almost two decades, like <laughs> solid 15 years, no ID. Hey, so, so Glenn, what's the plan for those who don't know right now? Tonight, we're gonna go sit, wait in line at the DMV till they open up in the morning because they take walk-ins on Saturdays and hopefully get our ID. When we arrived to the DMV on Flamingo Avenue at 3 a.m., there were already hundreds of people lined up waiting, some sitting in camping chairs, others just laying on blankets all lined up in front of this empty DMV office, awaiting the rare opportunity to apply for an ID without a three month wait. So it's, it's 3.18 a.m. We're here at the uh, DMV in Vegas. There's about 150 people in front of us in line, already lined up. What time does it open up? Eight. Eight o'clock. And so you guys, are all, you guys are all gonna apply to get IDs? Yeah, I hope so, yeah. Do you expect there to be any issues? I, I do. <laughs> I don't. This apparently was Glenn's first time ever going to the DMV, but his friends, on the other hand, had came here on Saturday for the walk-in opportunity three separate times and gotten rejected each time. I mean, really, what the heck is going on here at the DMV? Everybody needs a license. Why is it so freaking hard? Is it this hard in Norway? Isn't there some alternatives? Let's find out. To get a better idea of the sheer desperation at hand, I figured I'd interview the first guy in line, who told me he'd been there since 9 p.m. the night before. Yeah, this is my fourth week right here at the DMV just trying to get my ID. It expired, and you gotta go through hell trying to get ID right here. Without ID, you can't do nothing in this town. I won a jackpot at uh, the Eureka on Sahara and Sherwood, nice. and they wouldn't give it to me because I didn't have ID. Yeah. It was over 1,200 bucks, so they said, go get your ID and we'll hold your jackpot. When you come back, we'll have it for you. So today, today, I'm gonna get it. So this is your fourth attempt. How come the first three attempts didn't work? Because there were so many people, they turned me away. After five more hours of waiting, the line finally began to move. Please stop this out invisible. Please stand in one single file line, one person after the other. How's the current confidence level about getting the ID? Well, yeah, we feel good that we can do it, but <laughs> one some way I'm going to talk her into it if I have to. Yeah. I mean, I think if he fills out the forms that they request, like the homeless form. Normally, in order to get an in-state ID, you have to present a piece of mail with your name on it to verify your in-state home address. But you can get around this by officially declaring homeless status as long as you have a co-signer who has an in-state residency. And thankfully, Larry Susan is a Nevada man, so he listed his home address as Glenn's address. So soon, we were in, and sat for about a half an hour waiting for our ticket number to be called. As a brief side note, there's almost no place on earth as miserable and spiritually draining as the Department of Motor Vehicles. Soon, Glenn's number was called, and the process was actually more straightforward than I thought it would be. For my ID, because I, I didn't have no documents. He has the paper, I believe. They asked Glenn a couple questions. Were you born outside of the United States? No. Gave him a temporary ID slip and said we were almost good to go. All we had left to do was take a picture. Oh, hell yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna smile for the picture? Yeah, or what? I, was, I was thought I was gonna be able to miss, skip that one. <laughs> I might break the camera. Smile! <laughs> Alrighty, thank you very much. I could hardly believe it. The process was finally almost complete. Two weeks in the mail. In 10 to 14 days in the mail, we'd received Glenn's fresh new ID. You, you played it pretty straight face for that ID picture. Yeah, 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 I did. You gotta play it tough. Yep, that's right. If you're smiling and you get pulled over, you're fucked. <laughs> right back to county. Right? 
Even just holding his temporary paper ID, I could sense that Glenn felt truly accomplished and like a new future was ahead. Have it right there, man. What are you going to do? I'm going to go Monday and get my birth certificate. Yeah. See, see about getting housed and uh, find a job, man, sure. quickly. Get my feet back on, you know, ground. Get back in this society. Quit hanging around with all the fucking dope heads. <laughs> Aren't you going to miss the tunnel, bro? It's pretty no, nice. No, no, I ain't going to miss it one bit. <laughs> Not at all, buddy. All right, uh, here we are at the post office right here, where allegedly inside is a letter containing Glenn's fresh ID. Straight from the Nevada Department of Motor Vehicles, delivered to me directly from the state's capital, Carson City. Here we go, baby. I can feel the plastic in here. This is a huge moment. I hope nobody fucking finds out that I have a P.O. box here in Vegas and comes and sends me weird stuff, but what can you do? We need some ASMR for the uh, sound of the envelope opening. I feel like that's a gratifying sound to people above 50. It means good news. Oh shit. <laughs> There he is, Glenn Carl. His full name, I didn't know that. Brown eyes, 140 pounds. Born in 1965, four years before the summer of love. One year after the Civil Rights Act was passed in the dawn of the Cold War. Honestly, this alone is teaching me so much more about Glenn that I didn't actually know. It's Glenn with two N's and his middle name is Carl. You know where we have to go now? My favorite place on earth, yes the tunnel opening next to the Rio. Let's roll. Hey, Glenn. Very quickly, Glenn appeared, wearing short shorts and rolling a suitcase. <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Hey, Good to see you, dog. Hey, too, man. Bro, check it out. Gotcha shit, man. Ah, there we go. <laughs> right on, brother. That's a good picture of you, bro. Oh, yeah. shit, that's bad. <laughs> shit, that's horrible. What's been up, dog? Nothing, just working. Yeah. Make some money, that's it. Where you been working at? Selling water on the street. Fuck yeah, at the classic hustle, bro. I'm, yeah. st I'm stoked the ID came so fast. Yeah, yeah, it's two weeks. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a game changer. This documentary series, Vegas Tunnels, is available exclusively on our Patreon, www.patreon.com slash channel5. As many of you know, Channel 5 is a completely independent, primarily crowdfunded news organization, and it's your support that keeps the whole operation moving. Thanks so much. Channel 5 Live Worldwide, Hollywood and Vine. Fuck the authority, Channel 5 News. Channel 55, we don't fuck with Custers. And 5 is the best number.